Hey, what up? It's Ty 1822 here to review WWE Extreme Rules. First match of the night, Chris Jericho versus Fandango. This was a good match right here. Chris Jericho defeats Fandango with the cold breaker. And Fandango didn't need this match right here. He got his victory at WrestleMania. This match was better than a WrestleMania match. Fandango put on a good match with Chris Jericho. That's all he got to do to keep his momentum, and he looked good in defeat. So I hope none of the marks bitch about Fandango losing. Fandango didn't need the victory at all. Dean Ambrose versus Kobe Kingston for United States Championship. This was a good match right here. It looked like Kobe Kingston had the victory when he hit Dean Ambrose with the trouble in paradise. Dean Ambrose falls off the ring. Kobe brings him back in. Kobe going for the one, two, three, but Dean Ambrose put his hand on the ropes. So then, you know, Kobe Kingston going for the trouble in paradise. Again, he misses it, hits his leg on a rope. Dean Ambrose hits him with the finish move, which is a cool finishing move. One, two, three. You're a new United States champion, Dean Ambrose. I'm so happy he's the United States champion. Kobe Kingston still, I like the guy, but. WWE don't know what to do with this guy, and Dean Ambrose being a U.S. champ is a breath of fresh air. Mark Henry versus Sheamus. Now, this a strap match. Not the other strap match when the black strap, two guys wrist locked up. Not that kind of strap match. This the strap match, you know, when uh, you know the guys, they got the strap, and they got to touch the four corners, the light, like Eddie Guerrero and uh, GBO. I, I, my bad. I'm about to say I quit match. <laughs> um... Strap match, yeah, their strap match, that concept. This was solid right here. Uh, Sheamus hit all three, so he needed one more to win. So Mark Henry had him on the shoulders, trying to stop him from winning. Sheamus counters it, bro kick to the face, then Sheamus uh, hits the last like your winner, Sheamus. Jack Swagger versus Alberto Dario. I quit match. The winner will face Dolph Ziggler for his World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this match started off, you know, with... Do you quit? Do you quit? I'm like, okay, can I at least get some build up first? <laughs> I mean, why are they saying, do you quit? Do you quit? I'm like, I mean, it's, it's like if uh, Jazz Swagger, uh, you know, bit off a bunch of the real fingernail, the ref, the ref, do you quit? Do you quit, Dario? No, no, I don't. Like, like, come on. Like, <laughs> it was no build up, but, you know, the match was solid. Um, Jazz Swagger had a bunch of the real in his uh, Patriot lock. So then Ricardo Reed is about to throw the white towel in the ring, old school style. Then the real set, don't throw it. Then Zach Coulter takes the towel, throw it in the ring, and the rest sees it. Oh, okay, that was Ricardo Rodriguez. So your winner, Jack Swagger. It looked like Jack Swagger was on head to the next pit review or roll to face Dolph Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship. Then the referee came out and said, hey, no, he did not throw the towel in the ring. Both refs looked at, you know, the instant replay, and it showed that it was that coach who threw the white towel in, not Ricardo Rodriguez. So then, you know, they start the match over. Um, the uh, Bertrand Del Rio, uh, me, Jess Wagner said, I quit in, in his arm bar submission. I wish it was a better finish than that. Like, um, Del Rio had to still step, and he about to hit Jess Wagner with it when Jess Wagner, you know, on the map, and then Jess Wagner said, I quit, I quit. That would been a better finish to me. Because, you know, Zach Colton could have just came in the ring and broke up the submission. <laughs> so I wish it was a better finish to that match. And uh, uh, Bruce Del Rio uh, will face um, Dolph Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Tag Team Tornado match for the Tag Team titles, the Shield members, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan Ken. This was a good tag team match right here. The Shield are your winners. The Shield members. Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, champions. Man, I am so happy Then Dean Ambrose came in the ring, celebrated with his two members of the Shield. I am so happy the Shield are champions, man. Go everywhere on the Shield. The Shield the best thing going on in the WWE today. If the Nexus, you know, got booked this well, maybe that stable could have went somewhere. But the Shield, man, this is just a great stable. And they work so well with each other. Great chemistry. The Big Show versus Randy Orton. I didn't care about this match, but it, you know, I really got into the match when the Big Show had you know, two chairs out. And he had a ladder on top. So he had Randy Orton top of the ladder. About to go for the splash, he misses it. And you know, Randy Orton gives him the arc hill. I'm thinking it's over. 
Big Show kicks out, and that's when the drama kicked in. The match got a lot better. So, you know, Randy Orton takes out Big Show with the RKO again. Now I'm thinking, okay, the second RKO, Randy Orton going for the pin. But Randy Orton was setting up the punt. The punt. The crowd was going nuts. Everybody on Twitter like, did they abandon the punt? So it's not going to happen. Randy Orton punts. Big Show right in the head. One, two, three. Your winner, Randy Orton. I didn't expect the punt at all. Now, the last time Randy Orton punched somebody was probably with John Cena, that terrible box from years ago. I don't know if y'all remember that, that cage match when, when, when Randy Orton barely touched John Cena and John Cena messed it up. But I think that was the last time Orton did the punt. I think. I think it is. But it's been a long time. It probably been, what, two, three years since Randy Orton did the punt to somebody? It was cool to see the punt come back. And it, it gets the big show. It makes perfect sense. The big show is a big-ass guy. Randy Orton got to take him out some way. Ryback versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. Last man standing. Now, a lot of people didn't want to see this match. But this was a match of the night, man. I really enjoyed this. Ryback put Cena through the table. Cena put Ryback through the table with the AA. They went out to the stands. Then, you know, John Cena, you know, went, one of the, uh, cause went, went, went in the fan section. Had Ryback on the table. Cena jumped off it. Leg dropped. Right through the table, man. I love that part. Then, Cena hit Ryback with the fire extinguisher two times. I'm thinking it's over. So then he going for the AA off the ramp. Ryback counters it. Put Cena on his shoulder. Rams him right through the entrance stage. Both guys knock out. Trainers, referees. Nobody wins this match. Great way right there. Because Ryback didn't need to lose anyway. Cena will always look strong. But the biggest winner in this match was Ryback. Match of the night, and I want to see the rematch because this was really good. Now, they just gave it better build up. You know, Cena, Ryback could really be big if they just give it better build up because the match was really good. It was a match of the night. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar Cage match. This this the best one they had. You know, it was a bit slow. Uh, Paul Hammond got involved. Triple H took him out. Uh, you know, um... Brock Lesnar, you know, selling the knee all night. Uh, Triple H debuts a new sledgehammer. Uh, they both hit each other with the sledgehammer. Brock Lesnar, at the end of the day, was still able to defeat Triple H with the F5. That's Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules was a good pay-per-view. And once again, Extreme Rules did better than WrestleMania. That's what, four years in a row, Extreme Rules been better than WrestleMania? So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.